video is about how to draw a top or plan oblique. So let's start with a cube. We always start with the top orthographic view. So for a cube, the top orthographic view is a square, obviously. But to do a plan oblique, you need to rotate the square. So here's how you do it. You can choose an angle here, but it has to be not equal to 45 degrees. So here, this is approximately 30. Now, it's really important, folks, here that this is true shape. So in other words, that's 90 degrees. And if I were to draw a square, it has to have 90 degrees at all four corners. Then you drop your vertical lines from each corner of the square. This is one unit. Now we have to make sure that we foreshorten, as I said in the previous video, otherwise it looks too deep. So for example, if I were to use a full one unit deep, that doesn't look like a cube. That looks too deep, right? So let's go to approximately three quarters, which would be here. This is one, that's three quarters. So you need to foreshorten. And ladies and gentlemen, that looks more like a cube than if we had used a full one. One, one, and one. Let me show you another example in which that angle of the line of the top oblique can be greater than 45 degrees. So for instance, if I were to do this, I could go like this. I could say, now, I'm going to draw a square here. Notice it's 90 degrees, okay? And the angle here is greater than 45 degrees. You drop your lines. We have to foreshorten. This looks a little... That's one, and that's one. I'm going to foreshorten to here. All right. And now what I have here is a cube that is drawn in plan oblique, but this angle here is greater than 45 degrees. And you can compare it with this one. This is less than 45 this one is greater than 45. They're both top plan oblique views of a cube. All right, now let's draw something more interesting. Remember, the main advantage of an oblique is that you have true shape. So let's do a tube or a cylinder that has the proportions of one by one by two. And now I'm going to draw it. Okay, that is a drawing, a top plan oblique of a cylinder that has diameter one and two units deep. Now I'm going to add some shading, assuming this light source is from this direction.
Okay, that is a top oblique of a cylinder that has some shading. And remember that with a top oblique or within the oblique, you want to take the plane that has the most detail or interest and make that the true shape. And that's why the circle here, the top, is the true shape. Okay, that's the end of this video. In the next video, I will show you a more detailed example of oblique. Thank you very much.